Hi everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Um, I thought I'd show you how to propagate the plant behind me, which is Abelia Kaleidoscope. So if I turn the camera around, we can have a, a quick look. So this is Abelia Kaleidoscope. Obviously the name given to it because of its real mixture of foliage coloration, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's classed as a semi-evergreen, so basically depending how hard the winter is, determines how much foliage it loses. And it's at this time of year, June, July, August, into September, it then starts flowering. So you can see it's just starting to bud up now. It's a little bit late, we're uh, back end of July. Um, and it gets a lovely, well, it gets a mass of pinky white, highly fragrant flowers. But we're not talking about flowers today. What we want to do, we want to do some more propagation of it. Um, so essentially this time of year, say back end of summer or mid to end of summer we're talking about semi-ripe cuttings so you've got softwood which is these very flimsy tips but by this time of year the fresh growth has started to firm up a little bit so what's classed as semi-ripe and that is in comparison to this darker browny grey growth that would be classed as ripe cuttings or hardwood cuttings. So I say we do some semi-ripe cuttings. Really easy. So just nipped off a piece there. Just bear in mind that whatever you're cutting off you are going to be sacrificing those few flowers. Um, need to grab some rooting compound and all I'm going to be doing is just snipping and off from this main piece discard that and six to eight inches is sort of perfect size really so make your cut just below a leaf joint like so strip off that bottom leaf dip into the compound good coverage there and we do the same with the others and we can treat them the same and do it the same so in that way you can pop three in together now you can either grow these into a pot of compost or actually what I tend to do is I tend to find a shady position within the bed make a hole and drop the cuttings in there and then firm back around give them a good old water and make sure they're not going to dry out and really by next year you'll have a viable plant and when I say that I know that because this piece here is exactly how I got that as you can see, it's um, let's pull this out of the way. Yeah, so that's the main plant. So it's a, a separate cutting, probably it's got a little bit damaged, and it's this cutting that I'm then going to dig up and uh, repot, and that's going to go out into the front garden. And it's really as simple as that. And that is that. That's as simple as it gets. Nice short video on how to propagate Abelia Kaleidoscope. Obviously, it um, doesn't matter what the Abelia is. Same propagation technique, same time of year, same everything. So, as I say, do your cuttings directly into the ground of a you know, moist, slightly shady position, or put your cuttings into a pot Again, keep it on the moist side, move them to a slightly sheltered, shady position and you'll find that by next year you'll have good viable plants. 
So, if you've got any questions, then obviously send them over to me. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos. And above all else, just enjoy your time in the garden, relaxing and, well, having a bit of experimentation. So, till next time, bye for now. Oh,